yes, we are going to talk about this. We must talk about this. Hi everyone and welcome to Tea with Nikki. Today I am going to be chatting with you a little bit about what the experts have to say about when you should change your sheets, your underwear, and your towels and other things along those lines. I read an article recently because this topic came up when my son and another friend of his were playing and it just really smelled bad in my son's room when they were playing and wrestling and I went in there and I was like what is that smell and it smelled like dirty feet or something like that but um, our friends came over that night the the parents of this young boy and uh, it, it just brought up the discussion because I was letting her know that you know either both of them or one of them something was smelling bad and our boys are getting to the age where I mean you know you would have them shower more frequently than when they were little kids and that is something that I think a lot of parents have to come to the realization of when your child needs to bathe more, um, when they need to change certain things more frequently, because it's not like when they were babies where you could just put them in an outfit, I mean, as long as they weren't staining it and then they weren't sweating, they weren't, they just didn't smell. And this is something that is of rather importance to me and Jorge always tells me that I am a super smeller. I smell things that maybe other people don't. I can tell if someone showered the day before or the same day. I just, I can smell oils and hair and a lot of it is just very um, unpleasant to me. And this is a big reason why I, I personally shower every single day. I wash my hair every single day because I can't stand the smell of oil and hair. And I know that that's an extreme for some people. Some just wash their hair maybe twice a week or three times a week, something along those lines. And I think some people's hair is okay doing that. I know mine because it's thinner and because I have either an excess of oil in my on my scalp or something or because I just wash my hair all the time that my scalp does produce extra oils that that is the case but whatever the case may be it's just something that is of importance to me and I encourage you to do what feels right to you but I thought that it would be fun to discuss this because I was rather shocked at what it was my friends said as far as how often they have their children bathe. This is something we already discussed, but it just kind of made Jorge and I like talk about things after and we're like, could you believe that? Because maybe it's not something that everybody discusses. So you think that whatever you do, everybody else is doing. And so it comes as rather of a shock when it's people don't do what you do and where that is all well and good i just thought that especially because like if you could smell your children and they're just not smelling too too uh great there that you would really encourage them or have them require them to shower more frequently make sure that their hair is being washed properly and this is something that can be so difficult as they get older because you're not in there to, you know, make sure that they're doing it right. But as mothers, especially in, in nature and everything, they smell their children. Um, you know, you can get a little closer than just uh, seeing them. I mean, I've smelt my daughter's hair when I was brushing it. Sometimes I would be brushing it and I would say, um, no, you need to go back in there and wash your hair properly. You need to really scrub your scalp because I can still feel the oils within your hair and all of that good stuff. So let's get into what the experts have to say as far as how often you should do these things. 
Now I would say that more so than how often you would shower to me is how frequently you would change your underwear or require your children to change their underwear. This was something that we discussed in this whole, when this whole topic was up and I am not surprised with what the experts have to say. I feel we go along definitely with what the experts say here and pretty much everything that it says to do aside from a couple of things we've already been doing. So getting into this and I have my notes here so I don't um, you know give you false information about what it says but I'm also going to link this this whole um, article in the description box below if you would like to read it for yourself because there are a lot of extra like some uh, scientific things within here if you would be interested in reading about that. The first thing is how often should you change your pajamas? This said to change your pajamas at least once a week. Surprisingly, it talks on here about how um, how frequently people do change their pajamas and is very, very infrequent. And actually, um, it says that some people wear the same pajamas for up to 13 nights in a row and women go up to 17 nights in a row. So that was kind of surprising to me because number one, I always like my pajamas to smell really fresh. And so I really wouldn't say that I go more than three days wearing the same pajamas. I don't think that I could go a whole week wearing the same pajamas, but that is just personal. Uh, as soon as that good smell is, you know, like the fresh smell of clean clothes is gone, I get a new pair of pajamas. Okay, number two is um, how often should you change your underwear? This says that you should change your underwear. This is for children too every single day without exception. Yes, without exception. And to me, that only makes the most sense. Um, it says that uh, more than 25% of men and 7% of ladies wear the same underwear two days in a row without washing them. So that was very surprising to me very surprising to me what other people do. Okay, and um, number three are your toothbrushes. I think that this is a really common one, especially a lot of dentists will, um, you know, let you know that you should change your toothbrush every three months. And then of course, after every time that you are sick. So number four is dish cloths. It says you should no they should never be draped over the faucet and um, they should not be left in the sink and they should be replaced monthly. I beg to differ on this. There might, you know, scientifically they, it might be fine, but I like to change mine. I don't like to go more than two days with the same washcloth, but that is just me. And with the whole fly lady system that I've been doing, uh, she says to change the towel every single evening. And I like to just throw the, the washcloth in there as well. I don't like to use a used washcloth the next day. I just, for me, I just feel like I'm spreading germs. So I know that you can sterilize them in the microwave. I know that you can put them in the dishwasher, but it's just preference why I do that. And uh, yeah. Number five is tea towels. Tea towels, they are the leading source of cross-contamination. So these are the ones that you're wiping the counter with and um, like drying off. And then it says change each day and you should have a separate towel to wash, to dry your hands with. So that's what it says to do. I can see why this would be the number one cause for cross-contamination with everybody drying their hands. Maybe they didn't wash their hands properly. So that can be a, an issue. Number six is bathroom towels. This says that they should be washed after every three uses. We wash ours maybe once or twice a week. I know for myself, I like to wash mine once a week, but the kids, 
they and that's going more than with three uses but I have it hanging every single day and it's drying um, but I yeah I haven't had any issues with that and it goes into all of the reasons why like with dead skin cells and that you should never use someone else's towel this could be a cause this could spread infections and just so many other things so yes have your own towel number seven would be bed sheets how often should you change your bed sheets again this is something that i've been doing this for years changing mine every single week but the fly lady system recommends that on weekly home blessing hour you change your sheets so everybody's sheets get changed once a week and this is the recommendation it also says that um in the morning you should like fold back your duvet cover and it says open a window but i don't know if i go that far however it would be good to be opening the windows but i know with our window upstairs it doesn't have a screen on it so i don't want like bugs to be coming in so i don't really open that window but anyway it says that you should be pulling back your duvet cover and letting it air air out letting the moisture escape and uh, the humidity from from your bed and mattress and all of that okay number eight would be duvets and pillows so this is the last one this says that um, you should be washing your duvets every few months at least twice a year so I have some pillows that are, they're like alternative down pillows, and they're ones that said that you can wash them in the washer machine and put them in the dryer and then they become like new again. And so every now and then I do like to run those in the wash. It just makes them fresh again. And I would highly recommend those um, because it's not like you'd have to throw them away or get new ones and you could just, you could wash them. So I hope that this was interesting to you. If you, uh, let me know what you do with all of those different things, how often you wash. Um, if you've struggled with trying to figure out how often you should wash each of those things. Um, I'm not going to ask you to, you know, embarrass yourself with how often you change your underwear or, uh, your children change your underwear or anything like that, but I thought that this was very informative. This was something that, like I said, came up in recent conversation. It's not something that you would just discuss with anybody. And so I thought that it would be really great to put this information out there. I just searched it after we talked about it and I was happy to find something along those lines, but yes. Be sure that you're changing your underwear every day, please, and make sure that your children are too. There are so many good reasons why you should do this. Uh, less chance of urinary tract infections. Children too can get those. And just the overall um, smell of your child and yourself. And a lot of times people can't smell their, their themselves, but for those of us who are super smellers out there, we can smell you if you have not washed yourself, if you have not changed your underwear. Yes, I know. I know that I'm talking about this. I can't believe I'm talking about this online, but I feel that it needs to be talked about. Hygiene is so important and really people people do look at you differently if you don't take care of yourself and if if they can smell you you're probably less likely to be the one that somebody wants to sit next to um, somebody wouldn't want to sit next to your child and so many different things it's it's interesting because my kids come home and will say that the person in front of them they had really bad breath or like different things like that so when you don't think that your children are aware of different things children have noses too and they can smell so it's important to make sure that you're taking good care of your children that you are making sure that they practice good hygiene you know washing their face if they need to um, they're just going to get to those 
those points in their life where they're they're probably going to need deodorant, they're going to need to wash their face, they're going to need that extra attention, they're going to need to wash their feet, they're going to need to wear, go through maybe two pairs of socks a day, who knows, whatever it is, teach them good hygiene because it's so sad to me when people avoid different people because of how they smell or how they they just seem dirty or something like that and really I don't know of anybody who likes to be around other people when they just have a pungent smell I don't know anyway this was quite a different little tea chat here but I hope that it was informative and I'm going to leave you with a few clips from our Easter and um, just, you know, I, I do want to discuss a little bit about my break and how all of that went. It was so important to me to take that break and I'm really happy that I did because it gave me some time to renew my, my mind and myself and just be like let go a little bit and not feel that need and that rush to figure out something to do and um, just relax. It was so nice to be with my family and especially after this whole um, this whole long process with Granny breaking her hip and her wrist and everything and. It was just nice to kind of get back into the groove of things. Even though we did have our spring break, yesterday was the last day of our spring break. The kids went back to school today, which today is Tuesday that I'm filming this. But um, we went to the park yesterday. I didn't even bring my camera with me and I'm happy that I didn't. At first I was thinking of bringing it and then I couldn't find it. Um, it was hiding behind something, but I'm really happy that I didn't. I'm happy that I just enjoyed that time with the kids and that we, you know, just relaxed. We had fun talking and I was trying to help the girls do some cartwheels and stuff like that, but it was just really good time. And um, Easter was nice. I didn't even get a family picture on Easter, which is something that I do like to do. So I broke that tradition with getting our Easter picture, but that's okay. We will do something like family pictures here soon because I have been wanting to get that done. And um, other than that, we've been kind of working on a few projects. I'm still in the process of trying to get my, uh, my office completed and I went to Ikea recently with Jorge. We got a few things for that and there's just one missing piece. So this week I hope to go there and get it and then finally have my office done because things have really felt out of sorts recently with that. And um, today was desk day so I did get, you know, bills paid and everything but it's just still been out of sorts and kind of a mess to go in there and I don't like it when it's like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I hope that you all take care and have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.